Hello, I'm at Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. I have about four hours on my flight to Montreal, or Yule. I'm gonna use the time to try to ride as many modes in Toronto as possible. And in fact, I've already done one mode. I flew here, and we're about to start the second mode. The ferry. Okay, never mind. But, you know, hey, I mean, we can see the ferry. We tried to ride the ferry in spirit. Let's count as a mode, let's go. Instead, we're taking the underground pedestrian walkway. Which is kind of mode in itself, right? <laughs> Let's add that mode. When I was at Toronto City Airport last, it was just the ferry that operated. Um, I'm kind of sad I didn't get to ride it because it is one of the shortest ferries in the world. Um, but this tunnel is super new, I, I think. I don't know how new it is, but it's pretty new. Um, so it's really cool that we get to use it. Elevators to Toronto. And how about that? Right in downtown Toronto. This airport is like one of the coolest things in the world. So they do run a courtesy bus to downtown, but let's be more fun and take the streetcar. I had this insane idea that Canada in the winter would be cold, but I'm really hot. <laughs> Shiny new Presto card obtained. They cost six Canadian dollars to uh, get. It's a 511 here, not what we want, but a 509 is right behind it. All right, welcome to the streetcar, our next mode. This is pretty awesome. When I was in Toronto last time, they only had the CLRVs, which are so, so iconic. But I gotta say, these are pretty awesome. At every stop, they open all the doors and they have fare card readers at each entrance. So it's really quick to board. It's worth knowing that this streetcar is super slow. We've been stuck at a light for quite a while. So if I miss my train, that will be bad. Oh good, we've gone slow enough that we're punching. Next stop, Queen's Key Station, Toronto Island Ferry. It would be nice if they had a real voice instead of text-to-speech, but at any rate, good they have announcements. Here's the part of the 509 I was excited for. It goes underground, including two stations. Here's Queen's Key, an actual underground station on the streetcar network. All right, there's a weird curved station here, but no time to admire it. We gotta get a train in like two minutes. Looks like the train might be late, so all that running for nothing. Oh well, this is Union Station, and we're about to ride the GO Lakeshore West Line. This is a new mode, this is Toronto's commuter rail system. Um, we're taking this a whole two stops to Mimico. It's about five minutes late, but here it is. Slowly coming in. All right, let's go. Change of plan. Gosh, it's windy. Um, I got off the exhibition because that train was running pretty late, so I want to make sure I'm keeping the schedule. I'm going to rattle off my thoughts about Go right now. First of all, it's pretty annoying how the seats are, for the most part, in sets of four, uh, which meant there were people sitting in like a quad with me, so I couldn't be that weirdo talking to himself in the camera. But other than that, it seems pretty good. I know that Go has a ton of plans to increase service around the Toronto and greater Toronto area, so that's really exciting. They have Wi-Fi, but also like in-train entertainment, apparently. I, get, I have to like log in with a Presto account to, to get it, but they have like shows and movies and stuff, which is insane. I think you're supposed to buy a ticket before. I thought that was a validation situation, which there is a validator here, but I never tapped on, so I don't know how that works, but I think I might have accidentally fare evaded, so sorry about that. We're using this underpass to get to our next mode, which is TTC bus. I don't remember what number it is, but it's a new mode. Over here is the streetcar loop, and then the bus is waiting there. Oh boy, it sure is windy out. Anyway, I'm talking about how there's a bus sitting there, and should I run for it or not? I mean, it's every four minutes on Sundays, which is really frequent. There's no driver, and the bus appears to be empty. And here comes another bus. All right, I guess we'll get on that. I mean, it goes without saying that the Toronto skyline is beautiful. The highway, maybe not so much. 
So it's worth noting that Toronto has the largest streetcar network in North America and one of the largest in the world. So we crossed several streetcar lines along this journey and actually, we're actually on streetcar tracks right now. Oh, but we are passing another 29 as well. Heck yeah. So we've hit Queen and we've filled up a little bit. Um, Toronto seems to use all door boarding, so they have fare validators at each door and people can just get in any door they want. It seems like the TTC really knows what it's doing, at least based on this really brief look at them. That other 29 just passed us again. I think we're just going to be playing a game of leapfrog all the way up. What, another 29? Oh my gosh. This route, this route's insane. Do we mama? That wind never lets up, does it? Well, we just got off the bus at Bloor Street, and I'm marveling the fact that it's every four minutes on Sundays once again, because that is really cool. Vroom, vroom, the bus is leaving. What a champ. Now we head on to a new mode. Toronto subway, line two. That sounds iconic. Like every train car in Toronto makes that sound, including the GO train made that too. Also, before anyone asks, no, I'm not taking the Scrub ROT in this video. It's really cool, and I know it's going away soon, but I've actually been on it before, and for the purposes of the mode challenge, it just takes too long to get out to. Ah, look, another streetcar. They're seriously ubiquitous in Toronto. It's fantastic. I'm heading to a new mode now on this modal extravaganza. It's not super well signed, but there's a GO station close to here, but it's also served by the Up Express which is this train that goes from Union Pearson Airport to Toronto. It's a totally separate service and a totally separate mode. Oh my gosh, this is really nice. Let's see, taking up express, pay here. I guess I just tap, I don't know. We'll see. $5.02, um, okay. Pretty nice platform here, it's high level. Oh, is that the wind again? Uh, this platform is pretty nice. It's high level. Uh, wait, I said that already. Um, there's a waiting room. Uh, the train's in five minutes. Whoa! The wind is tearing apart this waiting room, it seems like. But on the plus side, uh, Up Express seems to offer Wi Fi, which is really cool. I wasn't able to film it, but this also has the iconic Toronto bah, 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 door closing sound. These seats are fancy. They have a tray table. It's not that big, but it, it, it's a tray table. Um, no footrest, but outlets at every seat. And just about seven minutes later, we arrived back at Union Station. There's also a Via Rail train there, which is uh, basically the Amtrak of Canada. Someday I want to ride that. Wow, the departure board for the airport, vending machines, wow. So here's the Grand Hall of Union <laughs> Station. Pretty nice. I love that janky departure board. They've got all the flags of every Canadian province lined up here, including my favorite bad flag in the world, British Columbia, never change. So now there's a direct entrance to the TTC subway from Union Station because we have to ride line one. It uses different rolling stock, and so I'm gonna count it as a different mode. Here's Union Station on the one. Uh, you know, not much to it, but there's poetry. It's fine, nice station. I'm taking this one stop, just to say I've been on it. Oh, that's out of focus. Well, here it is, ha uh ha. -huh. Line one, towards on. Please stand clear of the doors. Love that sound. A quick ride, but a fun one. 
this one clearly, that would have been locked. So this complex is part of this underground uh, system in Toronto called The Path, which basically just connects a bunch of places underground. Uh, that's super cool. And kind of another mode, right? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Okay, I've reached a Philly door. Now it becomes a challenge of how the heck do I get out of here. Okay, actually there's a staircase right across the path, so hopefully this gets us out. Whew. All right, and here is King Street, which actually more or less banned cars in order to speed up the streetcars, which is really cool. We have in fact walked pretty much just back to Union Station in order to get this bus, the Billy Bishop shuttle, which is another mode. And, oh, it seems to be covered in dots. Well, that's lovely. This bus is covered in dots as far as the eye can see. But someone left this window open. Thank you, kind soul. So this runs every 15 minutes and really it's such a wonderful way for tourists to see the city. You know, you've just landed in Toronto and there's really no better way to see it than on the streets, you know, right in the action. So I'm really glad this bus offers such amazing views of downtown Toronto. Another thing about the dots, look how much darker it is looking through the dots than it is through the open window. Like it feels so much darker outside when you look through here, but it's actually quite bright. Thank you. Okay, also, the dots are self-inflicted. You can say something about ad revenue or whatever, but in this case, the dots are just ads for Porter, which is the, air, the airline that runs this airport. I don't care how free the shuttle is, I'm taking the streetcar next time. And with that, we're back at Billy Bishop in the pedestrian concourse. With plenty of time to spare until my flight to Montreal. I love Toronto. Um, I wish I'd gotten to spend more time here, but stay tuned for more adventures in Montreal. Or you will.